Good morning, everybody. Starting the vlog in the car like we used to do. Do you remember when we first started vlogging? Always. We always started the vlog in the car. Um, we are just headed. Grayson and I are going to a play date yeah. at a friend's house. Ever. No. I mean, ever. Yep. Um, <laughs> and Mackenzie and Cody are going to the hobby store to go paint and possibly yeah. play D&D. &D. So. That's what we're headed to go do this morning. I just wanted to start the vlog and say hello. And I Let you know what we're doing. Let's go to D and D. Possibly. You super excited? Yeah. Give your smock. No, I don't need it. Okay. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys after we get back from the planning. And I see you later. Hey everyone, we are back and I'm just putting together lunch based on leftovers from the other night. So you're basically seeing another recreation of a meal we had the other day, but I just want to make some lunch. It is 1 o'clock, so it's time to eat. We just got home. Um, yeah, gotta get this grub in baby's dummies. guys I'm going to pop in here because one of my dear friends asked me to share how I make my flat whites so this isn't going to be fancy I'm not putting it with music the sound here in the background is my kettle boiling it's noisy um, I'm just going to show you exactly how I make my flat whites I am going to preface this with the fact that I am NOT a coffee snob coffee snobs probably won't like the way I make my flat whites that is okay I tweak it a little bit because I tweak everything Basically, if you don't know what a flat white is, it's kind of like a latte, but with less espresso, more milk, less foam. Um, again, this is a very DIY version of it because I don't have an espresso machine, I don't have anything, anything like that. I am making mine with my French press and my hand blender. And this just works for me. It's like my version of a flat white. So this is uh, how you make Rainbow's version of a flat white. And I think I'm going to make mine with coconut milk today. Never put almond milk in your coffee, you guys. This is just a shout out to everybody who is trying to do the non-dairy thing. Uh, if you like almond milk in your coffee, maybe we should chat because I don't know what you're doing differently. I think almond milk in coffee is disgusting. Coconut milk unsweetened is the only thing that I found that is even a little bit good. So let me show you how I make this. If you don't do dairy alternatives, you can just make this with regular milk or cream. Also, as you guys saw, I got this cup yesterday and I think it's going to be my favorite. I absolutely love it. Okay, this is the exact coconut milk I use when I'm making it with a dairy alternative. Otherwise, sometimes I do just use cream. So I just opened this new bag of coffee I got and it wouldn't open. Look what happened to it. It broke. It like just ripped. It wouldn't open. So I'm going to have to put this in a airtight container. Um, so here, for the last time, this is the only time I guess you'll see this big, this is the one I am using right now. It doesn't matter what kind of coffee you use. I mean, use what you want, whatever. We're not going to be picky here, right? We're not coffee snobs, it's fine. Okay, so, my water just boiled. I will add, I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon. To make an espresso, you probably want a little bit more. I'm going to add like a tiny bit more. Um, but I am just, even with espresso drinks and stuff, I'm not a huge, huge strong coffee person just because I can't handle that much caffeine. So I'm just going to put like a heaping tablespoon in there. Um, if you're, if you want to make this just normally, I would put two to three in there. If you've never made coffee in a French press, then you can watch. All you do is pour a little bit in the bottom to kind of let the coffee bloom. 
smells so good. You just leave it for a couple of seconds, let it bloom, basically let it create like a little bit of a foam on top, some bubbly action happening. And then you fill it, but instead of filling the French press all the way, you're only gonna fill it to be about that full. That's even a little bit more full than I would. You would just want it like a little bit. Um, Cause you're making kind of a homemade espresso shot. And then you just set your timer for four minutes. And then we'll put this to the side and then we'll move on to the milk. So for the milk, I'm just going to eyeball this. Um, what you could do is you could fill your coffee cup halfway with the milk and then pour it in. But I really can't be bothered today, so I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to turn it on to a medium heat. So on my stove, that's going to be a six. I like my coffee really sweet. It's kind of like a downfall of me. I like sugar. So I will add my sugar to my milk right now. And then that will warm up. And while it's kind of gently heating, I take my immersion blender, blender, handheld blender, whatever you want to call this thing. And this is how I make it frothy. Now, because I have to use this, my flat whites are probably frothier than they're supposed to be. Because obviously I don't have some thousand dollar espresso machine on hand. So when you're making them at home, you do what you can. Whether you have a blender, you have one of these things, whatever. I put it in a tall pot because these things splash like crazy. As you've probably seen from me making coffee, I make a mess. So all I'm going to do is blend this up and I'll probably just uh, skip this clip in a second and just uh, come back when this is done because it's noisy. I do try and do this for a full two minutes while it heats though because if you don't when you're working with a hand blender I find it doesn't thicken the milk enough and it doesn't really create enough froth unless you do it for a good amount of time. Ideally you would use a thermometer for this. I use my finger and I just go for feel. So I take the milk off of the heat, stick this sucker away and as you can see we've got like five seconds left on that timer. And so I'm just going to pop this off. And now we can slowly press our coffee down into the French press. Again, if you have a better way to make espresso, do that. If you only have a fr French press you're working with, then this works. Okay, all you have to do, let me get a prettier angle here, is pour your coffee. I might have made too much, we'll see. And then you have your sweet milk with a little bit of foam on top. Pour this. And again, I usually make frothier ones, honestly, but this one was pretty quick. But there you go. You have a lovely little flat white. Um, again, the non-dairy milk does affect this. You get a much creamier, frothier drink if you're working with cow's milk. It's just kind of what it is. But, Coconut milk, if you don't do dairy, don't do almond milk. That's just a bad idea. Mmm. And you get creamy coffee deliciousness. This is a really good coffee blend. I've never had this one before. I like it. And um, tomorrow, if I say I have a hor had a horrible sleep and was up all night or something, you know why, because I'm having a three o'clock coffee. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to sit down with my coffee, which is delicious, by the way. This is a really good one. Good one. Why can I never form words? I always mumble them in my mouth when I'm busy thinking before I talk, which is what you should do. You should think before you talk. Anyway, um, I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down with you guys, so I'm going to do that while I drink my coffee. I don't know. There's just something about it. It's so much creamier and richer, and it's different than a latte. It's not as, like, I don't like drinking through three inches of foam. Anyway, it's a, I don't know. Take it or leave it. It's a delicious cup of coffee. And I'm just absolutely in love with this bug. Ooh, I tried on the onesie that I bought yesterday. And turns out that I bought a child size one. Bravo to me. Cody got a proper adult one. I bought a large child size one. And I tried to put it on after the bath. <laughs> I tried to put it on after the bath. Oh, it was funny. Cody was like, 
what size is that, hun? And I was like, but why doesn't, like, it was too short in the torso. Torso. I was like, hun, I can't even get it up over my shoulders. What is going on? He's like, are you sure that's large? And I was like, yeah, it says right on the tag. He's like, hun, I think you bought a kid size. And so I took it off and, like, held it up to me. And sure enough, it, was the, it wasn't even long enough to cover my torso or, like, to go to fit my torso properly. What an idiot. <laughs> but I got Mackenzie to try it on because I was like, oh, I bought the wrong one. You should try it on because that would be funny if it fit you and I bought one that fit you. Ha 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 ha. Because she loves foxes. And so she tried it on, and sure enough, it fit her. It's it's a little baggy on her, but it's great because when it washes, it'll shrink a little bit. But actually, I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to tuck it away for Christmas for her. And I'm just going to go buy myself another one and then buy her a second one. Because one of the things she's asked me for Christmas and has been asking for since, like, last Christmas was onesies. It's all she wants to wear to bed. She doesn't want to wear any other form of pajama ever. When she gets comfy and comes home, she wants to put a onesie on, and she wants to just chill. Which, I mean, relatable. So, she's asked for, like, three groupings of things. Maybe three? I don't know. For Christmas. And onesies is one of them. So, I definitely can't have too many. I think I'm going to just get her those and put them away for Christmas. I think that's a good idea. So, I'll, I'll keep it and I'll go buy another one um, next weekend, I think. Because I think it's, like, 14 days before I have to return. Anyway, it turned out to be good. I'm developing quite a good little Christmas stash before Christmas, and this is the first year I actually have bits tucked away and have since the summer, so that's good. Not a lot, but like a few bits. Um, like a joint gift for them, and some things for Grayson, and like some little stocking stuffers. Just little ones, and now, now something for Mackenzie. So that will be good. Feel a little bit more organized this Christmas. Right now, so we had a play date this morning. It was so fun. Um, we went over to a newer friend of ours. We met her through our homeschool co-op. Her and I run it together. And our little boys are the same age and just became instant besties. And so this is our first play date at home with them. Because usually we've gone, we see them every week at co-op and then some and then whenever else we've seen them it's been like the park or something so that went really really lovely her house is giving me crazy crazy just zen vibe loveliness she is a Waldorf educator and her home is just like the coziest it's everything I love in a home it's just very huga it's very cozy it's very warm and inviting and relaxed and I love it and her living room layout has actually made me want to swap up our living room. <laughs> okay, if you guys have been here for a long time, then you know I do this. I, and if you've been here for a long time, then you know that I have been so good. I've been so good. I don't swap just for the sake of swapping. This house has changed around so many times to try and figure out what works for us. And then I will admit that often if, which I, I feel like I have an under control now, when I get big bouts of anxiety, I will often switch things up because it's like my, I guess, in the moment I don't realize it, but then in hindsight I realize that it's kind of my way of regaining control of a situation. I don't know, it's weird. I don't do it really anymore because I've developed better coping mechanisms over the years. Um, really in the past year, I've really, really been better at that. So, regardless, that did not make any, that didn't matter. And I'm not making sense. But... She made me want to rearrange my living room, and we've been having this issue where we're having a really hard time fitting everybody we want to have over at once in our little house. But I think with this method, if I can get Cody on board to try it out, we'll switch the living room around tonight, I think. And I think we'll be able to fit everybody much more comfortably. In an ideal world on game night, we can have anywhere from 10 to 14 people over, which is a lot in this tiny space. Um, we're definitely on the hunt for a new kitchen table. I'm not getting rid of this one, but I really want to have something that is larger and then also has like one to two leaves that I can put in it, like inserts, 
and make it bigger for game nights. But with the way I'm thinking of possibly switching around this living room, it will make us not have to move it or shift things around every time company comes over. It would just be open and nice and like breezy and flowy. And when company came, all I would have to do is move my coffee table and create the table space that we always create. So I think that will work a lot better. The only issue I think that Cody might not like about it, because that's always the thing, is passing it by Cody, because he's always like, oh my god, but I haven't done it in so long that maybe he'll be okay with it. The TV won't be the focal point anymore, which is fine with me, because I hate that the TV is the focal point of the living room. I think it, I don't know, I just don't like the way it looks. I want to open it up for visitors, like actual life things, not just staring at the TV. We have two TVs in this house, it's ridiculous, I know, but we're holding on to them for when we move. But we don't watch a whole lot of TV here, it's mostly just me at night if I'm watching something. And again, I can watch it uh, like in bed, and then it's the kids sometimes on the weekends in the mornings. Cody doesn't really watch TV that much unless we're watching something together, so I don't think it's going to matter that much. I think we could just angle ourselves on the couch slightly to look at the TV, and maybe it won't be super annoying. I don't know. but. If I am successful in convincing him of this, you will see that move around tonight. So I'm just waiting for him to get home. So he, right now, it's Saturday. He's not working today. But he went to go play Warhammer with his friend Patrick. So we went, Grayson and I went to the play date. And then Cody and Mackenzie went to D&D. &D, or to the hobby store. They were, they were playing D&D &D there. But I think Cody and Mackenzie painted. And then they came and grabbed us. Cody dropped us all off at home. And we had lunch. And then he went back to the hobby store because his friend was getting there and then they're going to play Warhammer and he should be home probably in about an hour I'm thinking yeah then I don't know what we're gonna get up to I have a lot of laundry to fold but I, now I'm really craving to just make this space cozier project paring down everywhere I need to clean all of this I just need I just need some time to organize that's all it is it's just there's too much clutter around things need to be shifted around and made prettier I just need, need to prettify things. Prettify? Prettify. That's a new word. It's not, but I'm gonna make it one. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. life around here. Mission uh, failure. Yeah. We hate it. We're moving it back. We're just sitting here being frustrated by the fact that there's no solution to this. We have tried two solutions. <laughs> Putting it back. Hello everybody. So we went to go move everything around and it just didn't work. It didn't look good. It disrupted the entire flow of our house. So we tried a few other things, none of them worked. So we are just back to our normal living room. I'm about to fold all of this and then tomorrow I'm going through closets and dressers. Well, at least ours to start. So finally I'm gonna have a second to do that. We just took tonight as a chill night. We're going to the store tomorrow and everything to go do the rest of our grocery shop. And then that's about it. So I'm gonna watch some Riverdale and I might try that like, what is it, Haunted Show? I don't know. It's a new Netflix show, Haunted Something. Um, we'll see. I, I heard it's good, but I don't know if it gets scarier throughout the thing, because I, I don't mind a thriller. Um, but I don't like like blatantly scary things anymore. I used to be a huge, huge horror flick kind of girl. After I had kids, I can't do it anymore. So, I'm just making spaghetti at night, because I'm really hungry, and I still had some leftovers in the fridge. So I'm going to eat some spaghetti, and I'm going to fold laundry and watch some show, and I will see you guys in the morning. I just wanna let you know why, because uh, I don't think I filmed after we moved things around. Yeah, we've moved it back. There's no there's no hope with that, so. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching today. Bye, and losers. it'll be in a second, because I am gonna come by this video, so. Stop. No. Bye, guys. Have you seen my song?
for those of you wondering what I just made, this is my apple cider vinegar drink that I drink every morning before I consume anything else. It is one and a half tablespoons about of apple cider vinegar. Bragg's brand is best. And some honey and then hot water. I mix it up and I drink it every morning on an empty stomach right when I wake up. Good morning, everybody, an official official start. It's actually afternoon, like it usually is, although you did see the vlog starting in the morning. Um, hopefully you could hear me in that clip. That's what I drink every day before I've had, like, I haven't even had coffee yet, and it's 12.30, so. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, everybody, you make fun of it, but it keeps me healthy. Sure Who's dude. the one that doesn't get sick? Sure, dude. Um, yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you what our house looks like right now because Cody and I are inspired. The house is effed. We are cleaning, but we're also wanting to start some of our projects we've been meaning to do just to make our house feel more Less homey. Because like last night after moving things, we were like, what? <laughs> when, can, when can we move? And we're like, do you know what? Okay, we obviously cannot move right now. So let's just make the best of what we have and let's just make this better and do what we've been meaning to do with the little bits and just, so we're gonna start that and we're gonna clean. So I'm gonna show you what, what we're working with here. This is a weekend after, okay, so I put the curtain up when we're cleaning, by the way. All right, here we go. All their stuff on the table, let's not forget that. Grayson dumped half a bottle of Parmesan cheese. What a on the, on the Shoot ain't cheap, dude. No, it's not. Okay, let's keep going. Dun 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 dun. This was like midnight laundry folding session that got cut in half because I was tired. You were watching spooky shows. I was. Okay, Cody's desk is like an abomination. Minus thirty two. I will. I spent like three hours painting. And then I don't think I should even show them the kids' room because that's just scary. Yeah, it's it's a disaster. It's very scary. Um, so we're gonna see you in a second when we've cleaned a lot of this up and Well, not really because we'll probably vlog while we're cleaning so you'll see little in-betweens But then within like, I don't know, a couple of seconds or a minute, then yeah, you'll see it clean Yes Um, I am going to show you little oh, organizational bits cars. like going through the closet But I'm not gonna show you cleaning montages today just because you this is a normal mess. Because there's so seen. much to do, even and there's a lot to do. It'll take like it'll, hours. It'll be this too much for you to watch. All right, onwards. Hello, Mackenzie. Hello. It's a pretty cool Hello. puppet you made here. Mm-hmm. Made that like two or three nights ago? Mm, I think so. Yeah. Cool. So, as you can see by the outside, it's dark because it is uh, 7.23. But look, just like we said, nor the pumpkins and the other couple things we have up there. The house is like basically clean now. I even like tidied up my area, which is always just an absolute disaster. But uh, it's not looking too bad. And then over here, if we follow the girl in the house coat, still need to like put away some cleaning stuff. Uh, even the kids' rooms are like mostly clean, except Grayson's bed is still destroyed. And mine's room is destroyed. And uh, Mackenzie is still working on her room, so uh, hey. You should uh, really go get that finished, huh? I know. All right. But uh, we've had an awful day today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Because if you will look here and see, it's kind of hard to see, but like out right here, you see all this broken glass? And then it's all down here. Grayson broke a window today. He uh, was throwing rocks at a bush, missed the bush, hit the window, and exploded, the w and exploded it. Thankfully, it's only the first pane, and uh, we know some people who do glass, so they can help fix it. And then also, what else happened, Rainbow? Well, we had a friend pop... Okay, this is the thing. This didn't just happen all one after the other. It happened all at the same time. 20 minute span. We had a friend come... Hold on, Gray. We'll come we, get you in a we second. We had a friend come over that had a crisis. Yeah. And so, that was... And we had just... That was just us. We got home from grocery shopping... Stepped out of the car, and like all of this happened. Can you go tell your brother that you. we're gonna? And then, um, our dryer also broke. Like all within like twenty minutes of each other. It was absolutely crazy. So it was, oh my god, it's been so intense. 
honestly, Cody was like, you should vlog because we haven't said anything and I didn't want to pick up the camera, so he did because I am on the verge of tears. <sighs> Trying not to be stressed out. It's just so much at once. <sighs> Cody is at the point where like, he thinks it's funny. Which I normally am at, like that's normally where I am, but like I'm just mad about other things too right now and it's, I'm just frustrated. So it's just ridiculous. They, you know, when, when things happen, they happen in threes, right? Yes. So. They sure do. It's been a fun day. No, I think we're going to end this here and I'm going to say goodbye to you now because honestly I'm done, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm done. Um, forever. Last video. <laughs> for last Delete the channel. <laughs> fucking over it. <laughs> Just so done. Um, he's joking, by the way. But we did have a request for Cody because you never showed the mini oh, yes. you bought. So can you I didn't them? show people what I bought yesterday. Okay. Let's grab my little coaster here that I keep all my mini stuff on. All right. Hold on. So yesterday I went and bought, let's just readjust my painting light. I went and bought this beautiful boy right here. This is Gabriel Seth, Chapter Master of the Flesh Terrors. I also cut my finger today, it's add on top of everything. Uh, he is an angry man. Uh, here is his gigantic chainsaw sword that I have very, very roughly base coated. Two of the colors. Here's his other arm and his shoulder. And then yes, Last night, I spent a couple hours and completely finished his backpack and cape. So this is the uh, finished product on that. If it would focus, there it goes. So this is all done. And now I just have to finish painting the rest of him, put them all together, and he's uh, good to go. Right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Say good night. End the vlog, Mackenzie. Good night. Bye. You gotta blow them into the camera, like. No, you blah, blah. Blah. She did it right. No, but you have to like put your paw the camera, <laughs> paw the lens.